glare analysis what is glare glare is basically the glare you know like the things that you cannot stand as you see like it's a very sunny day on marble or very sunny day you see you cannot take it like you can't take a look at it before you close or you know, like almost closing your eyes okay so it's basically we have this here honeybee imageless annual glare and what this does let's take a closer look at it so we probably need our model right so i'll be connecting this guy here and have it here and like we are having our model we are having weather data here as well so i can copy that as well copy this and paste it connect it over here we have our uh we have our north is the same so there are a bunch of things that we need to take care of here so the glare threshold the glare threshold is something quite important which we'll be talking about towards uh like which we'll be talking about a bit more detail uh while we are visualizing this and luminance factor you see it's basically like uh the value that you put and then above that value is going to be like it's going to be understood as glare value schedule is the same schedule grid filter we don't need to care about all these things so run settings we don't need anything we can pull out a toggle it will be false toggle here so the glare threshold is something changing and if we take a closer look at this one this is a table that we can see like if it's less than 35 percent uh is imperceptible you don't understand if there's glare if it's between this value of 0, 30 percent to 40 percent it's going to be perceptible but okay 40 percent to 45 is going to be disturbing and above 45 is going to be intolerable so we are going to be working through that as well therefore let's put this 30.5 as our glare threshold okay and if you want to, if you run this, let's see what kind of results we are going to have. And obviously, we'll be having, we'll be having kind of a, we'll be kind of having kind of a different visualization for this particular analysis, because we have specific amount of values in our, in our uh, threshold or in our metric that we see here so it's i think it's almost getting there maybe i can pause the recording for a second here for you to not spend more time all right i think we are back and we have some results here okay and the results that we see here. So it's basically, again, like you see, these are the results in percentage of what we are receiving or are we receiving more than this or less than this or hitting this and stuff like that. But we'll take a closer look at that in the next video where we are going to visualize these results.